so here I have a date time picker control and uh, there is two control one uh, you can set for uh, some booking uh, form uh, like start date and end date uh, is something like that I selected uh, two date for I put the selected date for the uh, initial date and uh, I put uh, the end date text box in the left and uh, end date control in the right and then I put a button where uh, I have a um, some button submit click like if you do button submit click is the same because uh, it will not uh, bind uh, with the control if I directly copy and paste so for the event handler you have to uh, if you cut and paste from somewhere else you have to uh, remove this and make it uh, manually like uh, the ID do uh, for you uh, if I go to uh, the, the codes you will see the event handler generator uh, method to handle with this uh, click event okay let's uh, uh, see the output if uh, I run the application then uh, you will see that okay this is uh, our uh, control you can change the date and uh, you can see this but now uh, we don't have any code for uh, button submit uh, event so I will do some code like I will do as a cut and paste for this uh, and uh, you will see uh, there is a string build uh, by start and end uh, dead selected uh, string and then I call a JavaScript method of by sending a parameter a message but uh, we have to assign uh, one namespace to get this uh, class object System dot Windows dot browser. Now you see the error will be removed. Okay, then uh, we have to take the window and invoke the call the invoke method to call the uh, JavaScript alert function. And uh, in the second parameter, you can send the value of the method. Okay, now if I see uh, the output then I can get uh, the um, value of the start date and end it if I change this to 15 uh, then you will see the change okay now I will add a uh, full screen code for example this is a sample of making something in the silver light then you wanna be uh, load this uh, part into a full screen mode. How to do that? If you go to the app.xml.cs, you will see uh, application startup. Here you have to define uh, some code for doing the for displaying in a full screen mode. Uh, okay, if uh, we have to do some changes here like uh, I have to put uh, page uh, is a, a class of root to visual where I can create a new page object like I can do cut and paste from here okay because uh, if it is necessary for uh, hand, uh, doing uh, some um, operation with this uh, object you have to make it global for this class then you can say this dot uh, root visual uh, root base
sorry we have to set it root base okay then we can say like this so is the same just uh, we make another uh, object of root base and then uh, we have to add uh, layout root if we see in the page.xml that there is a grid is layout root name and you have to assign uh, root base dot layout root dot you have to uh, bind the event handler for mouse button down and you will see there is a method for binding this uh, event and here if you write something like this uh, root page dot uh, not root page host you have to uh, assign the host uh, has to host content uh, is full screen mode is full screen mode you have to assign is full screen a with the value of a position like if a, if it is full screen mode then it will assign that not full screen mode if it is not full screen then it will assign the full screen mode something like this so if we build the application and see the output then we will see that if we click on this you will see a short message please escape to exit full screen mode and uh, this uh, plugin is under uh, full screen mode and if you uh, click again or press escape it will go to the original state now I will do some more operation for uh, full screen mode like when it is full screen mode you can uh, increase the height and width of the area for example for doing first I will do some code for first thing like let me copy first and if we add uh, when the when it is uh, sorry I have to close the application before editing to the code if it is a uh, full screen mode I put the wrong source code uh, we have to add one another event handler uh, like when the content is full screen change then we can do this width and height changes something like this Uh, first we have to check that if it is in full screen mode or in normal mode like if uh, I check uh, if the host and uh, content is full screen mode then the height will be increased uh, width will be increased otherwise it will restore back to the original state so let's build the application and run the application ah, okay so now if we see the existing code is running okay now if we uh, go to the full screen mode the width and height of the grid has been expanded you see all these are making bigger so if your application is like this like uh, windows media player or some other control which is necessary to make the full width and height area of uh, of the window then you have to use uh, this uh, uh, function to make it expand uh, into the full window okay thank you so much to watch this video i hope uh, it will be helpful for your silverlight uh, implementation and uh, i hope you will enjoy this and thank you so much uh, to watch my lesson and please uh, give your feedback uh, in